Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Facer Sergeant and welcome to Fallout 3 Broken Steel Who Dares Wins Quest Walkthrough. Now you're gonna have to head to the White House Plaza. Now this video will be long, but we will be getting a Tesla cannon, which is nice and it can actually one shot uh vertebrates. But so can the 44 Magnum from the Mysterious Ranger. So in any case, heading down and taking a look at our local map, we're gonna have to go to the left here. And we will be taking the tunnel, talking to a robot, and ultimately destroying a mobile air force carrier. Mobile air force carrier? Yeah, yeah. I guess that's what it's called. In any case, we'll be fighting through plenty of ghouls, plenty of robots, plenty of enclaves. Enclave soldiers and you guessed it plenty of death claws. Everything the Enclave has they will actually have at the last location. So make sure that you bring a shit ton of equipment to actually go with you. In terms of well basically everything. Let me actually turn that up. Oh oh what a game changer. Should have done that right at the get go. In any case, we're just going to head right on over here. Like I said, they will throw everything they have against you. So you gotta take care of them. In any case, this is the route that the President of the United Commonwealth of America... I think that's what it's actually called in the Fallout universe, or just the United States of America. Although they are split into 13 Commonwealths. Here we'll actually have plenty of turrets and robots at first, then uh, ghouls will be slowly thrown into the mix. So you gotta keep that in mind. There we go. Now we're just going to stick to this side. As you can see we can't actually use that train. Okay, and there is a robot that will actually talk and with a high enough speech or science skill check you can actually convince the robot to fix up the thing that you need otherwise you can kill the robot get the main fuels and with a high enough repair skill repair it yourself either way I don't want to hear any excuses uh, about not having a high enough skill for something I mean, it's fucking ridiculous to even mention that. I mean, in all honesty, you need, you should have everything. I mean, this is literally the end game. Not a quest that you get uh, once you actually exit the vault, but it's end game. There we go. So here should be the robot. I see some friendly entities. So make sure you're all leveled up, you've collected everything. Talk to Margot. Uh, so our security parameters and current user highest clearance. Uh, can you repair the train? I need I like to activate all you I need to know more uh what uh -huh. what's the bridge all about Internal visual sensing equipment the individuals have damaged in accordance with you okay uh -huh. so far my my equipment in the Okay. One of the main power relays for I have the replacement part on our main sentinel unit. Okay. I have to go now. In any case, enter the presidential metro. Now, there are several ways that you can go about this, but I would actually recommend 
joining up with the robots and taking care of the ghouls. I mean, the ghouls aren't doing anything bad, and all you have to do is just kill. Ah, uh, no, not the ghouls, the robots aren't doing anything bad. So, all you have to do is essentially join the robots, and you can use them as cannon fodder. And just start to eliminate all of these. Now, this guy should be hit by a train, I believe. But in any case, just go on a massive killing spree. If you look around, you can get some goodies uh, in f in um, in the form of ammo and mines and stuff like that. Now, yeah, I was supposed to head to the left here, but okay, that's good. We need to take care of the ghouls. So you just need to dispatch every ghoul you see. And you have a laser rifle there. All those laser rifles will be pretty much useless. But the tree beam laser rifle is very useful. Okay, I accidentally hit one of the robots. It's not the end of the world. Accidents do happen. Now we're getting here to the White House West Wing. And if we head right out over here. Okay, right. Uh, it needs to be repaired. This is the fuse that is missing. What the hell is actually hitting me? Okay. And I do believe that right on over here is the main repair bot, I believe. Okay, maybe not. So, back to killing ghouls then. Okay, so going back, we will have to kill each and every one of the ghouls that you can find scattered about. So I am definitely missing a couple of ghouls here. There we go. Okay, that should do it. Optional. Okay, if you clear most of them, the robots can actually handle the few stragglers that remain. Unless they actually all get wiped out, well, then you're out of luck. Okay, that should do it. This should be the exit, and now it should actually get repaired. I won't interfere if you guys send a fucking robot to actually come out here and fix this. Uh, what, what I'm guessing... No, that's still... Ah, there we go. So you fixed it. Awesome. So you just have to wait around a little bit, then you're gonna have to activate this. Now, here's a little fun bit of trivia for you. They couldn't actually make this train run on its own so there's basically an NPC just wearing a hat okay perfect we're here now we can actually get up here and we can continue on there we go that's the enclave Perfect. I have a feeling I missed the Tesla cannon, or I'm just about to get it. But you just have to take care of those enemies. Ah, uh, yeah, the Tesla cannon should be up here. The Tesla cannon can one shot vertebrates. Just so you know. The vertebrates fucking overpowered. I guess this was airdropped. Okay, perfect. I wonder how much damage does it actually do? Well, it does. It deals a lot of damage, but this deals a lot more damage. Any case, here we are. Now, this place is a literal death trap, so you should watch out. 
plenty of turrets and enclave soldiers. They'll be on your ass faster than you can say enclave. So fighting our way and just shooting everything inside is a very good tactic, might I add. And kaboom. There should be one more on that side, and there we go, more turrets over there, and another one over here, and another one right there. Turrets for days, and these are Mark 6 turrets, so they hit for a lot of damage. That is, they hit like trucks. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. One shot at an absolute win. Like so. You can do, well, almost the same with the Tesla Cannon if you can reach it. But that just saves me the hassle, in all honesty. And I just like seeing them all blow up to smithereens. Okay. I think I, I, think I actually got that one. No? Well, almost. Okay, now you see I did head the wrong way. I was supposed to go over here. But I kind of got excited. I wanted to blow up some more vertebrates. Okay, like I said, this is a death claw thingamajig. You can kill them through these holes, but we're just going to keep heading forward and basically destroy anything you see along the way. Cause maximum havoc, because why the fuck not? Now, I believe you can't actually go through these, not even with the mysterious magnum. So we're just going to take this catfuck over here that will allow us to just quickly skedaddle over there Ah, okay, these hellfire assholes They're tough as hell Okay, well, I destroyed some of them Okay, there's that distraction that the scribe talked about. So, why am I so goddamn slow? Okay, now we're gonna stick to this side. And just keep moving forward. Um, fucking hell. Oh, fuck me. Now, this actually works out quite good for me. Just keep attacking them with everything you've got, and eventually you'll wind up at this building. And that is the mobile carrier. That thing actually moves via those uh, tank tracks. Only they're much bigger tank tracks. So you're gonna want to head inside the air control tower, all the while dodging attacks from the enemy, and you're just going to head up here. Keep heading up to the absolute top, and here we go. What the ah? To do open mobile platform loading ramp. Contact uh, contact uh, none of those now. Soon enough, three vertebrates will actually charge this location and them to bomb the shit out of it. Now you can actually attempt to destroy. Those three were the birds with the Tesla cannon since it does one shot them. Or you can just plead ignorance and run away. Whatever suits your fancy, then just go back down here. And you're basically gonna want to head to the mobile ramp. Now I would recommend thoroughly exploring the mobile ramp because you will get plenty of goodies. And plenty of nice armor, weapons, and stuff like that. If you don't want to, you can just pretty much end it almost immediately. And I'll show you how. Well, not almost immediately, but relatively quickly. Okay, so head through this ramp. 
So you needed to go inside that tower to actually just lower this stupid ramp so you can actually access the mobile base crawler. Then you can go here. If you smash it, it will blow up and deal you some damage. If that's something you want, otherwise you can... Ooh, holy... Oh, 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 smash it! You can turn it off with significant uh, thing of magics, but hoo, 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 goody 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 goody. There you go. That's one of the. That's one of the many uh, nice uh, looting thing of magics that you can have around. Now, uh, once you find Squad Sigma, you're going to want to take the stairs from where they came from and you can move onwards this will actually lead you to the second level dormitory and you're gonna want to head towards the launch pad and just keep heading up and that's the dormitory and we're just gonna head to the launch pad it's locked with a very hard lock I mean you should be able to pick it by now because most of the well, almost all of the best things in Fallout 3 require lock picking level 100. Okay, and I broke it. So let me just. There we go. Now you're actually on the outside. And I would highly recommend exploring the entire mobile base crawler because once you actually launch all of the. Once you actually launch the missiles. That'll be it, game over. I believe one of those will actually be the Brotherhood of Steel, where the birds, but... Okay, alternatively you can actually appear from here as well. <coughs> but it's much easier just to pick the lock. Okay, moving forward. Taking to this side. Okay, don't jump up there. Instead, what you're gonna want to do is just head to the right here. Where I actually shot the bird, the bird, but I didn't realize I have to go here. And we can actually move forwards now. So, once again, you'll encounter a plethora of, of enclave assholes. And you can just start killing them all randomly and without any particular discrimination because they all deserve to die equally. You should be progressive and just kill them all. Okay, now we're actually going to go through that door so we can bring an end to this video because it is long. Enter it. Yeah, I have no idea who I am. Because if you did know who I am, you would actually get the fuck out of my way. And let me destroy your futile attempts at destroying the Brotherhood of Steel. And asserting your non-existence of Polatai. So just keep heading up. Here it is. Now, load payload, fire payload. You can fire at the Citadel actually giving you a unique weapon if you're utterly evil uh, or at the Adams Air Force base platform uh, and lock this dash fire path uh, final warning confirm there we go now if you just go through here don't shoot the vertebrae that's actually going to come your way You're gonna want to board this vertebrae right here. That will actually take you away. And you'll be able to watch this entire thing, uh, I'll say. And see, we can drop back and sit there. Activate the vertebrae, then you can watch the fireworks. And that'll put an end to this DLC. 
Now, obviously, if you kill them, they will still take you away. Yes, it will. But in any case, what I wanted to say is... Uh, you should thoroughly explore the mobile base crawler. You will get a lot of good stuff, but ultimately it doesn't matter. Yeah, it kinda does. But it kinda doesn't at the same time, because this is, well, basically the end of the game. Okay. Bam, bam. Holy fuck. There we go. Now there's also an option to disable all of the robots from a central frame. But why the fuck would you do that? Just kill them all. I mean... I remember playing this... Uh, for the first time, I just went and killed them all. I go activate the vertebrae to actually go back. And you'll be met with cheers and praises from the Elder. Awesome. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it should be relatively easy if you bring enough steam packs, psycho and everything, and if you explore everything, then you can find uh, the easier ways of actually doing this, but to some people this is the easiest way. I mean you just blast through and you pick a hundred locked door. I mean not very hard, especially if you want to collect everything you'll need a hundred lock picking. Ah, uh, there we go. And if you talk to her uh, but uh to go now. And there we go, that's basically it.